Just like a sunrise can't be denied. No, just like the river will find the sea. Hi there, dear friends all over the world. Welcome back again. This is Mr. Osama Mukbel, the English teacher and the self improvement coach. Dear friends, in the previous episodes, we learned to govern how to pronounce those words that are commonly mispronounced by many second language learners and even by some teachers, and definitely I am one of them. But as I've always told you, it's not the end of the world, it's not that a grotesque crime or unforgivable sin when you mispronounce a word, but as long as you know how to pronounce these words, you must, you must keep pronouncing it correctly because actually you don't want to face or encounter any embarrassment or misunderstanding when you talk to others using this word or that word. Keep updating your knowledge. Keep updating your knowledge and keep surfing, keep listening, keep practicing, keep learning with love, passion, enthusiasm, determination and positivity and never ever say Enough is enough. I have enough or sufficient knowledge. I don't have to study anymore. I'm the godfather of English here. You know that as soon as you start talking like this, make sure that it's the beginning of your horrible drop. No one is a godfather and no one is a know-it-all. We are all imperfect creatures and we must keep learning until death. Today's lesson is very simple and the juicy experience we are going to live and relish together today is full of the beautiful expressions used by native speakers. What are these expressions? What do they mean? And how can we use them very effectively so that we can make them as our second nature when we use them spontaneously in the future? All of these questions will get answered in this episode. All you have to do is just to stay tuned. Now it's time to sit the ball rolling. Our lesson for today is called interjections. You can pronounce it this way. Interjections. 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 Because I know some Americans pronounce it this way. Now what are these interjections? Actually these interjections are words that are used to express feelings or emotions. To express feelings or emotions such as happiness, sadness, shock, enthusiasm, confusion, and so on and so forth. Now, if you express these feelings very strongly, especially in writing, you can use an exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. You have to know how to pronounce it correctly again. It's exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. So, if your feeling is very strong, especially in writing, when you want to write a sentence, you can use an exclamation mark after these interjections. Now, if you feel that the uh, feeling or the emotion is not that strong, you can use a comma. So, strong feeling, exclamation mark, not that is strong, you can use a comma. What's the first interjection for today? It's ouch, ouch. Ouch! Ouch! That really hurts! You can use this interjection to express pain. When you want to express pain, you can use this interjection. Ouch! That really hurts. Number two. Nope. Nope. It means no. Actually, you know, this expression is a slang and you can just use it informally. Okay? You can say no or Nope, as this interjection. For example, do you want some milk? Nope. Uh, are you coming with me tonight? Nope. 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 Okay. Number three, G. G. This expression is used to express your enthusiasm. For example, hey bro, do you see the car over there in front of your house? Yeah, what's wrong with it? It's yours from now on. Really? That luxurious car is mine? Gee! So you use it when you express your enthusiasm. G. G. Number four is oops. Oops. And by the way, you can pronounce it this way. Oops or oops. Both are correct. So oops or oops. 
Actually, this interjection is used to express surprise, particularly when there is something not that serious, you know, a small mistake or a slight accident or something like that. For example, I drop my pen by mistake and then I say, oops, I drop my pen, oops, oops, or oops, if you like it. Number five, yep, yep. Again, this expression is slang. We can use it when we talk to our friends, bodies, classmates, and so on. So, yep means yes. Do you love English? Yep. Do you want to come with me? Yep. Are you crazy? Nope. Not yep. You still remember it? Nope. Or are you creative? Yep. Are you serious? Yep. Okay. Yep. Now we have hush. Hush. Please don't raise your voice, my little brother is asleep. We want just to enjoy some video games. In case he wakes up, he will spoil everything. Hush, don't raise your voice, please. Hush is an interjection that is used to make someone quiet. Don't talk. Hush, everybody is asleep here. When you go to the library, you don't have to raise your voice because everybody is studying, everybody is reading. So, hush, pick up the book you want to read and enjoy reading without making any noise. Hush, hush. The last interjection for today is, alas, alas. This expression actually is used to show your deep sadness, maybe because of a surprise or horrible shock or something like that. For example, we can say, after I have held him, after I have stood by him, after I have shared with him all kinds of support and love, alas, he stabbed me in my back, alas. What a tragedy. Don't you cry? You don't have to. Alas. Again, alas is an expression that is used to express sadness. So these are the interjections for today. Definitely these are not all the interjections in English. Surely there are many other interjections. You have to find out and you have to serve the internet to know them and learn them and try to use them and practice them as regularly as possible because this way you can make your speech more casual. Definitely have to know that these interjections are used a lot by native speakers. Now let's, you know, revise these interjections one more time. Ouch! It really hurts. Nope, I will never do that again. Gee, I feel very excited and enthusiastic. Oops, I left my book in the car. Yep, I do love you. Hush, everybody is asleep there. Alas, I will never help that person again. Finally, I'd like to thank you for watching this video through to the end. Hopefully you like it and you like the other videos we're going to share with you in the future. Kindly, if you feel that this channel is worthy enough and useful enough, don't forget to subscribe to it at first and share the link with your friends, family members, or even acquaintances who are seriously interested in learning English as a second language. I will never get sick and tired of repeating this all the time. If you want to learn anything in this life, if you want to acquire any skill, you have just to arm your mind, your body, and your soul with that unshakable belief and that non-stop practice with love, passion, enthusiasm, persistence, perseverance, and determination until you master that skill or learn that language and you make it as a piece of cake. Until I see you again, I wish you a very wonderful weekend full of happiness, inner peace, and all positivity. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Allah, Allah, just like a sunrise can